Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial on how to use a nav mesh to have an object randomly track to an object or update its tracking after a certain amount of time. So as you can see right here, it'll track towards one object, then after a while it'll switch to another. And it can kind of get locked on its tracking every now and then, but that's alright. Okay, and I'm just going to get started. So to start off, let's right click on this camera and hit X and delete, and right click on this light and hit X and delete. Let's then right click on this cube in the middle and hit X and delete as well. Alright, let's now do spacebar and then add a plane like this. Hit 7 to go in the top view and do S and 10 to scale it up 10 times overall. Let's now go into object mode, or edit mode, sorry. Click the face select mode and do W subdivide, W subdivide, W subdivide, W subdivide, and that's about good. Alright, next what we're going to do is um, hit B and drag over the edges. B is in boy, drag over the edges like this. Now let's make a simple wall, like maybe one right here, and one right here. Alright, let's now go back into object mode really quick before we do anything with the, the scaling or whatever. Um, and let's add a quick material. I'll have the floor material be red. And let's add another material. And let's have this be blue, like this. Go back into object mode and you should have those faces still selected and let's hit a sign like this and hit E and extrude out so we can now see our map will have outlines of blue and red okay now that we have our floor like this let's go into blender game really quick click on this symbol right here and where it says nav mesh let's just type build nav mesh when you have your floor selected okay now that we have that let's do spacebar and then add a cube Add cube, <coughs> sorry. This cube object will have character physics like this. Make sure Blender game is selected up here. And once we have that, let's apply a yellow coloring to this cube. So yellow like this. And I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. And this will be one of the objects that our player is going to track to. All right. And I'll give this um, object a name of one. I'll hit Shift and D to copy it, and I'll call this next object 2, Shift and D to copy it again, and let's call this one 3. Alright, and I'll actually Shift and D and copy it one more time, and I'll place this one right here, and I'll call it 4. Now that we have this, let's do spacebar and then add a cube again, and this next cube that we're going to add, we're just going to call it main object like this. Let's um, give it character physics like this. And let's add a material of let's say what would be a good material? How about green? Okay. So we should see we're gonna have cubes that all drop like this. Okay. Now that we have that let's go into game logic view and on our main object what we're going to do is add an always sensor and for the frequency let's put about 30. So we're going to have it so that every 30 frames it's going to update what object it tracks to. Okay, let's now add a Python controller and connect it like this. And add a steering actuator and change it from seek to path following. And for the navigation mesh, let's just put nav mesh since that's the name of our main nav mesh. But let's not put a main um, target object right now. Let's rename this to path follow as the name of our actuator. <clears throat> okay, and now that we have that, I'm going to minimize this. Actually, wait. On your sensor, change the axis to, we wanted to track on the Y axis. Put the N and let's put visualize. Okay, now that we have that, let's add a Python controller or a game logic simple Python template. Delete the portion that I've highlighted and hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. And rename this to scripts.py and add this right here. Okay. Now that we have this, what we're going to do is import random. And then we're going to import the scene down here. So bg.logic.get current scene. And since our objects are named 1, 2, 3, and 4, like this, we're just going to get those objects into our scene. Going one is going to equal scene dot objects one. Two. 
two is going to equal scene dot objects two. Three is going to equal scene dot objects three. And four is going to equal scene dot objects four. Okay, now that we have that, let's get of our a list of our objects. So list objects like this is going to equal a list of one, two, three, and four. So we just got all four of these objects and put them in a list. All right. Next, what we're going to do is define our path follow actuator. So path follow is going to equal um, consta actuators path follow like this. And then, then what we're going to do is randomly choose what object we want our path to follow. So let's do choice is going to equal the random.choice of list objects. So it's going to randomly choose one of the objects from within our list and tell our player to follow it. By doing path follow dot target is going to equal the choice. And if you go inside the Blender API, you'll see on the steering actuator one, um, we've got target right here, which is the target object. Okay, now that we have this, what we're going to do is activate our um, content activates the path follow. So we're going to activate the path follow actuator. So your script should look like this. I'll actually scroll out with the import random at the top. So if we hit play now, we should see it's going to randomly track to a different object after a certain amount of time. Okay, guys. So this is how you make an object randomly track to another one within the Blender game engine. I hope you find this useful. I will just go over the script just for one more second. So over at the first part, we've got the, whoops, we defined the four objects within our scene, defined, made them into a list. Then we got the path follow actuator using our nav mesh. Then we got a choice would be equal to a random that choice of our list objects. Then what we did is we um, told the actuator that the objects that we want to follow, so if you remember from the add object, act, uh, from the steering actuator, its target objects was the choice object within here. And we told it to follow, and we told it to um, go after that choice. Then we activated the path follow actuator. Alright guys, I hope you found this useful.